Hey, welcome to Learn Fiddle Online, learnfiddle.com, either one. Patrick Clark here. I'm going to talk about how to hold the bow today. Now, a lot of people have different ideas about how to hold the bow and where the bow should be held and how the bow should be held. Um, consistently, this seems to work really well with the majority of my students. Every now and then somebody has um, double jointedness or some kind of different thing than the norm going on with their hand and I have to compensate individually. If you're that person, um, hit me up on the forum and we can talk about it. Again, if you don't have a copy of the book, head over to the store here on the website or to your local retailer and pick up Fiddling, The Basics and Beyond. There is a picture, a step-by-step -step, uh, picture diagram of how to hold your bow. So uh, put that together with what we're going to do here and you should do pretty well. Now, what I try to do first is I try to get tension away. So when we think about holding the bow, it's not really we're gripping the bow. Our hands literally guide the bow on the string. So there is a bit of a balancing act and it's really uncomfortable at first, especially for adults. So what we need to do is we need to have the uh, approach of really maybe gripping the bow as a baby would grip your finger. Very, very soft hands. Some people who have had jelly donuts or like a Twinkie or uh, one of those Hostess cupcakes, it's got a cream filling in the middle. And you have to be, you have to kind of think about the middle of your hand having that nice gushy center, that, that jelly donut center, so that holding the bow is just something very relaxed. It's just something that kind of happens. Now, there's two different ways to hold the bow. If you're a complete beginner, then we're going to go to the outside. It's, an, it's called an open bow hold, which looks like this. You can see that your th my thumb is actually on the silver part, which is called the ferrule. And you have to start this way sometimes because coming in here takes a lot more fine motor control, fine muscle control. And some of us younger folks don't quite have that yet. So starting open is a great way to go. We're going to go open first and then closed or professional. So to start out, take your left hand and hold the bow somewhere around the balance point. And you can find the balance point. Be very, very careful when you do this, but kind of, you know, somewhere right in there where the bow balances. Okay. Then you take your left hand and you hold it there. Now shake your hand out and drape so that you, you can see my elbow is below the, the bow here. So drape your knuckles, especially these knuckles, right over the top, okay, of the stick, okay? Now these two fingers stay together and they drape over the side, okay? Now as these, as these drape over the side, all of a sudden, if we lift our pinky and put it on the tip, everything kind of just starts to flow together. So these two together again, draping, two together, you can think of your ring finger covering up the eye. That's a great way to think about it. You put your ring finger over the eye. Pinky is on the tip. Index finger, check this out. For the index finger, the stick actually lays in between these two knuckles. Okay, that's something really important to remember. If you get over too far like this, you start using too much pressure. Pressure is not necessarily a good thing when using our bow. We, we think about bow weight and bow speed more than pressure. Pressure is something we can talk about as you become more advanced. Now, we have all of this. Now, all we have to do, check it out, is put our thumb right there. Now, we can play the pinky pointer game if you want to. It's kind of cheesy, but it really helps. So, if you have the can can, ba 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 Pinky, 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 pointer, 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 pinky, 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 pointer, 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 pinky, 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 pointer, 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 pinky, 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 pointer, pointer, bang, you're dead. Now, why do we do that? Well, when it comes time to pizzicato, our thumb automatically goes against the fingerboard and our index finger is free to do the pizzicato. So, rewind that, try it again, and make sure your balance is there. Again, nice bent thumb bent pinky. You can also think about making the C shape or you can do what I call mouse ears, right? So you start out with the right on sign. Yeah, right. Okay. So then we change that and we take the thumb and we put it right in the little crux of that first knuckle. Okay. Then you can add it that way too. Now that's more for the professional bow hold or the closed bow hold. 
Now moving forward, we do the same thing for a closed bowl hold, but we drape. Now we get these two on the side, pinkies up, index fingers where it should be, and then with that idea of feeling the thumb on the inside of that knuckle, you put your thumb right in this little space in between the grip and the frog, and you make sure that this part of your thumb touches the bow hair. Now, we teach you not to touch the bow hair anywhere else. Right here, it's acceptable. It's married to it. It never leaves. For the rest of your life, it never leaves. Most of you are going to run into the banana thumb syndrome, and you can see my thumb is flat. Okay, When that happens, the, th the whole hand becomes a duck bill. Okay? We don't want that. Bent thumb, bent pinky. Then, all you have to do is balance the bow. All right, rewind this video, take some time on this. This is, in my opinion, the hardest part about playing the violin or the fiddle. So take some time, get used to this, and then we'll, we will see you when it's time to put the bow on the string. Thanks for watching.